Let's revise some of the geometry you learnt in Grade 9. When we have a pair of lines, or one or more lines that are being cut by another line, we refer to the line that cuts across as the transversal. If these lines are parallel to each other, and we have a transversal that cuts across them, there are certain angles that we will be able to calculate as a result. So if we start off, if we just let this angle here equal to x, we know from our uh, grade 9 work that the angle that is in the corresponding position to x on the other side of the, of the other parallel lines, so on the same side of the transversal but on, different, on the different parallel lines, will also be x. So those two angles there will be equal because they are corresponding angles. We also know that the alternate angles when we have parallel lines are equal and we can actually see why this is the case because here these two lines cross each other and we know that when two straight lines cross each other the angles on either side of the intersection of the lines are equal so that angle will also be equal to x and we can see that that is also equal to the alternate angle over here okay so alternate angles are equal and corresponding angles are equal and also we can see that that would be x and that's the corresponding angle over there. So we can prove that from a few different places. Okay, now we know that if we let this angle here be y, we know that x plus y is equal to 180 degrees because um, of adjacent angles on a straight line. Okay, we know that the adjacent angles on a straight line are supplementary. They add up to 180. So that means that this and this angle are also equal to 180 degrees because they are the co-interior angles. Okay, so what we have is corresponding angles are equal, alternate angles are equal, but co-interior angles are supplementary. They add up to 180 degrees. And that's the one that often we forget about. Okay, so co-interior angles are not equal, but they have a sum of 180 degrees. So those are the angles that you need to know around parallel lines. And you might have learned that the little, to remember them, that geometry is fun. Okay, the F is for the corresponding angles that are equal. The U is for the co-interior angles that are supplementary. And the N represents the alternate angles which are equal to each other. Okay, if we just quickly revise our geometry of triangles, if this angle here is um, X, Y, and Z, what we know is that X plus Y plus Z is equal to 180 degrees, okay, that the angles inside a triangle are supplementary. And if we have an exterior angle of a triangle, in other words, if we produce or extend one of the sides of our triangle, the angle that is formed outside of the triangle is actually equal to the two interior opposite angles added together. So it will be equal to Z plus Y. Okay, so the sum of interior angles is 180 and the exterior angle equals the sum of the interior opposite angle.